One of my brother's favorite quotes is, the more I know, the more I know I don't know. And that definitely rings true for me when it comes to this figure. Let's dive right into the drink that I'm calling Peach Propulsion. For this one, you'll need peach schnapps, bourbon, amaretto, grenadine, lime juice, club soda, and some pink luster dust just for fun. In a shaker with ice, add one ounce of peach schnapps, a half ounce of your bourbon of choice, a half ounce of any old amaretto, and somewhere between a quarter to a half ounce of grenadine depending on your sweet tooth. Add a half ounce of lime juice and a little bit of that pink luster dust. Give it a hearty shake and then pour that into a martini glass. Top that off with two to three ounces of club soda Watch that luster dust swirl and enjoy. Cheers. If the name Akihiko Aguchi rings a bell, it's probably because you know him as the designer of the original 1970s Mechagodzilla, King Shizar, and Titanosaurus. I'm not sure when, but he did design a robot turtle that just so happens to resemble Showa Gamera, but is not licensed by Katakawa, which was then turned into this vinyl figure in 2022. The foot features a marmot stamp, but the header card says SHB for Skull Headbutt, both run by Kazumitsu Akamatsu. I'm not sure what the difference is between Skull Headbutt and Cars Works, and why they're not all just called Marmot, but they put out some creative figures, so I'm not gonna question it. It's my understanding that this figure could only be purchased in person at an event in Japan. The header card is signed by Yuguchi-san, but I'm not sure if they were signed in person or beforehand. I'm also not sure how many events there were. I say this because there are at least three versions of this figure. The first version had a significantly more dulled silver paint job over black vinyl. It was then updated into this version, changing from black vinyl to green and from silver paint to a vivid metallic teal blue that's a closer match to the original artwork. I'm not sure if both versions were sold at the same event or if the updated color was sold later. I've also seen photos of another that was cast in blue vinyl and either features a much brighter teal green paint job, or that's just a trick of the light in those photos. Now, who is this? The header card reads Mecha Game, and that's Game short for Gamera, not Game. However, the Japanese on the header card says Machine Tortoise, and here's where we have some fun with translation. The Japanese word for turtle is Kame, and Gamera was originally going to be called Kamera, but that's already something you take photos with, so they changed the Ka to a Ga. So really, if this translates to Machine Tortoise, it should say Mecha Kame, but alas, the spelling here confirms any suspicions we may have had about who this is supposed to be. This figure is your typical marmot size, at a bit over 9 inches tall, and towers over any other Gamera character or Mechagodzilla figure that I have. What looks like extra paint to add some wear and differentiation between the metallic plates is actually less paint, allowing the green of the vinyl to show through. Pretty clever. They do this on multiple points throughout the figure, and I really appreciate it. As you saw in package, the tail can rotate, but mine appears to be warped slightly at the socket, causing it to be at a bit of an angle. The head is plugged in with a large oval joint and can hardly wiggle, but the figure does have some articulation in the arms and legs. I found that the limbs on its left side are not as tight as the limbs on its right, but I didn't expect any articulation at all, so it's all good. Since I didn't purchase this at the event, I don't know the actual retail price on this guy. And there are so many other things I don't know. When did Iguchi-san draw the Robo Gamera concept? Will there be more runs of this figure in these colors or otherwise? Can we buy prints of the concept art? And what was the event? Superfest? A pop-up? I hope someone out there has the answers. But more importantly, I hope you have good luck on your figure hunt, and remember to always drink responsibly.